Hi, Timothy Unger here. In this video, we're going to talk about more Vim command line stuff that you can do. Okay, so in yesterday's video, uh, one of my viewers, Ali, commented that when you're in normal mode, you can press Control R, Control W, and whatever word your cursor is on will be pasted into the command mode buffer. Uh, so we're going to use that today to change red to pink throughout the entire document. So what we're gonna do is move the cursor down here to red. So we have this sentence, we can change red to pink in throughout the document, good grammar on my part there. And below that we have, there was a red dawn over the pink flowers that co were coincidentally red, that sentence. So we're gonna change all the reds to pink. So I have my cursor on red. Now red isn't a very large word, but we're just gonna use this for demonstration purposes. So I'm gonna, do a colon to move into command mode, and then a percentage S, forward slash. Now I'm gonna do control R, control W, and it's gonna paste in red because my cursor was on red. I'm gonna do a slash pink, another slash G because I want it to do it throughout the document. And I'm gonna hit enter. And now you can see that every occurrence of red was changed to pink throughout the document. That's very helpful if you're coding and you wanna refactor something and rename a function uh, throughout your entire document or that kind of thing. Okay, there's other things we can do with uh, the command mode. Also, we can bring up a command mode window that shows all the previous command modes that we ran. So to do that, instead of colon Q, which would quit us out of them, we're going to do Q colon. Okay, and that's going to bring up this little window on the bottom, which is the uh, command mode window. And you can see all the, the commands that I, I ran. Um, there's a bunch here uh, that I ran even last night that are showing up. Okay. Uh, just like any buffer to quit out of this buffer, uh, I can do colon Q to quit it. Okay. So that quits the buffer so I can get out of the command mode window. If I'm in command mode here, I can also switch to the command mode window with control F. Okay, and that's going to bring me back into this command mode window again. So that's another way to do it. And you may want to do it that way uh, in case um, you are worried about accidentally doing colon Q and quitting out of Vim uh, because people can confuse the two uh, because they're very close. Okay, I'm going to do colon Q to quit out of this buffer. And the next thing I'm going to talk about now with uh, command mode is the shell command. So if I go into command mode and I type uh, shell, that'll bring up a shell. But before we get to that even, I can run a single shell command if I do a, an exclamation point to start. So I could do something like ls-ls-al. And you'll see that at the bottom here, it lists... Um, the information about the files in the directory. Okay. I'm going to hit enter to get out of that. Now um, I can run other stuff. I could, for instance, run pandoc. So I believe I have pandoc installed. So if I want to take this markdown file, more command.markdown, and output it as more command.html. By the way, I'll include a link to the HTML file I created from. Uh, this in the description so you can go check out the stuff we covered in this video as well uh, by viewing that file online. Uh, I can hit enter and then it's going to go ahead and run that and I can hit enter again and it's run the pandoc command. Also if I had uh, GCC installed and I was having, working on a C file I could compile the C file I could run the C file um, just with this uh, running the shell command with the uh, exclamation point in front of the command. We can also go and we can um, put the outputs of the command into the buffer. So if I want to do, if I want to see um, information about this file directory, I can do read uh, with an exclamation point and then the command I want to run, which is ls-al. And that's going to paste that stuff into the buffer where my cursor is. Okay, so now if I want to get rid of this particular stuff, um, what I can do is I could do Shift V to go into Visual Line mode. Uh, I'm not sure you're seeing this that well. I have the Material theme on, so it's not super pronounced. And then 15K to move up, and I still need to move up a few, so I'll 
do a few more Ks, and then just delete to delete that stuff out. Okay, I can now, uh, since I deleted it out, I could paste it somewhere else in the buffer. If I wanted to go down here and let's say I wanted to paste it here, I could paste it here. Um, I really don't want to do that. This is just for demonstration purposes. So I'm just going to undo that with you. Okay. Um, let's see. So that's, that's what we can do with that. We can also run a shell command if we have, if we want to run several, or we can run a shell if we want to run several shell commands. So to do that, we go into command mode, type shell. Okay, and that's opening up a shell at the bottom of our document here. And I could do something like sudo apt install sshfs because I use uh, the secure shell file system to work on my websites online. I've already done this. Let me do a dash y here. Uh, whoops, let me hit enter. <laughs> and okay, so. Uh, Let's try that again. I entered in a few, so S, oh man. So there are some issues with running this in GeoVim. So sudo apt install sshfs, enter. Okay, and it's gonna tell me that it's already at its newest version. Um, you have zero upgraded, zero newly installed, zero to remove, and zero not upgraded. Okay, obviously you saw with, I'm using GVIM right now. So there are a little bit of issues with the symbols. If you get the symbols in there, it's going to mess some stuff up, but you can run a shell uh, that way with Vim. To exit out of the shell, I'm just going to type exit and hit enter, and that's going to exit me right out of the shell. Okay. Um, I think that's pretty much it. What I want to talk about in this video, um, I did mention the read here, and uh, that puts the output into the buffer. Uh, and this is, I don't know if anyone, any of you have used nano, if you do control T and run a shell command, it will paste the stuff from the shell command in the buffer. So it's a little similar to that. Uh, I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, could you please give it a like as it will get out to more people. I also want to thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a great day.